better you are at resisting rotation, the more rotation you can create. So that includes power and that includes stability as well. So what we're going to focus on on this one is going to be a kneeling arm reach. We're going to have those knees nice and wide, those elbows tucked in, so we have like a triangle base of support. You're going to focus on your breath and your goal is to not let your body wiggle around at all. So you're going to start off from your stomach. Shoulders are stacked up over your elbows. We're going to take those knees and spread them out a little bit. From this position here, pull your shoulders back and down. Take a deep breath in. Push your rib cage down so that your back is getting nice and flat. Now, from this position here, you're going to take a breath in. You're going to slowly reach that arm out without letting your body twitch. As I reach this arm out, I don't want my body to tip over. As I reach out, I want to keep everything exactly in front. So, from here, while I'm here, this butt cheek should be rock hard. This one should be doing nothing. Lock that shoulder down into place each time before you reach. Butt cheek hard, butt cheek soft. If you visualize the pelvis, it should be pointing straight at the floor the whole time. It shouldn't point away anywhere else. So again, from here, look at those hips. I'm not going to even use my toes. My feet are relaxed. I don't want to see your pelvis shift each way. I want you to drive those hips forward, ribs down, back flat. Take a full breath in while you're there. Breathe out when you come back. The wider your knees go, the more narrow your arms are, the easier it gets. And the opposite way. So I move my knees in close, widen those arms out. It's much, much tougher to resist that rotation. So again, the more you can resist rotation, the more you can create. That'll help you be more powerful and have better balance in every movement.